for November 30th, the end of hurricane season. So uh, this is, uh, it was a long time ago when a hurricane hit Corpus Christi in October. That was back in 1912. Galveston also saw an October category one hurricane Jerry. That was back in 1989. So essentially the purpose of hurricane season is to distribute all the heat that accumulates at the equator. Thanks to all of that direct sunshine that the equator sees, it is extra hot and so the hurricanes take all of that tropical heat and they distribute it to different portions of the globe that that is the purpose and so we have very warm waters across this region across the tropics but specifically the gulf of mexico is where we are seeing some of the hottest sea surface temperatures right now and these warm waters are good for tropical development and they do provide fuel to the to these systems but that saharan dust that has been coming off the saharan coast is limiting hurricane development because it is keeping those uh, coastal waters there off the coast of africa slightly cooler and so some of these systems are just having a hard time even getting started in the first place. But right now we have a 70% chance of development with this tropical wave that's making its way through some of that Saharan dust right now and a 30% chance of development of a new tropical wave that is coming off the coast of Africa now as we speak. We have Hurricane Earl category two right now could become the first major hurricane of the season as it slowly moves to the north toward Bermuda, but it's likely going to pass the eye of that Our system will pass just off to the east of that island. Additionally, we have Tropical Storm Danielle uh, that is weakening there into the Atlantic Ocean. And we have Hurricane K in the Pacific that is going to bring rainfall up uh, Baja, California and into Southern California. So that is what we are dealing with in the tropics. The Pacific Ocean has been distributing a lot of that heat. They've had a more active season.